Welcome back to the lab, folks. So today we have in a parcel from PCB Way. So this is the little boards for my versatile configurable power supply. And I'm dying to get into this. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are. PCB Way. Let's get in there and get these boards out. This blade needs replacing. There they are. Okay, so I ordered up 10 of these. I figured I'll, I'd, I'd use these quite a bit over time. Oh, they sent 11. That's nice. Sometimes PCB way will do that. If they have space on the their big board that they're doing everybody's projects on, they'll throw in one or two extra for you. That's nice of them. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, yeah, so here's our input here. That's our AC in. Then we have the bridge rectifier implemented with four diodes. Then we have our two capacitor options here, the 200 mil and the 80 mil, for the filter capacitor. And there's the two options for the regulators. There's the regular 7800 series and then the 78L over here. And this is the regulator output capacitor. Here's a protection diode for the regulators that'll protect them against a higher voltage on this side than on this side. And uh, there are our output. This is also could be used as a jumper in case we're not putting in a regulator at all. We just want a filtered supply. So. I wanted to see, like this uh, this big pattern here for the heat sink is something I had to do up myself. Just want to see if I got that right. Okay, yeah, I did. The keep out area is fine. That's good. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do up. Uh, I'm going to do up three of these. One I'll do up with a one in four thousand sevens, a larger capacitor, the regulator, and the heat sink, the seventy eight hundred series regulator, and the big heat sink. Another one I'll do up with a 1N4148 diodes, a small capacitor, and a little 78L regulator. And the other one I'm just going to do up as a filtered power supply. So without further ado, let's get to that. I'm going to take this over to my soldering bench, collect up all the parts I need, and I'll come right back once I'm done. And we're back. So here I've got my three modules built up. This one here is a 0 to 100 milliamp 5 volts. This one here is a zero to one amp, five volts. You can see we've got the bigger 7800 series regulator, the big heat sink. And this has just got the little L series. These are internally protected against thermal overload, so they don't really need a heat sink. It's a good idea though, to keep the leads short as possible going into the board, just so that some of the traces on the board can help with the heat sinking. This one here is just well, right now it's a, a an unfiltered supply because I want to show you what that looks like. And then I'll put some capacitor on this and we'll just have a filtered supply. So this would be any voltage going into it. I think I'm using a 35 volt capacitor. So any voltage up to 35 volts would be fine for this. So this here is a 6.3 volt center trap transformer. I'm not going to use the center tap. I'm just going to bring the 6.3 volts in, rectify it, and filter it, and see what we get out of each of these. And I'm going to put them on a little bit of a load to see what kind of ripple we get out of them and yeah we'll just run them through their paces and see what they're like so this one here is hooked up right now to the transformer we've got 6.3 volts nominally going in here rms and uh, we've got an oscilloscope on the output and a little bit of a load just a little bit about 12 ohms low just to keep the things stabilized here so let's have a look and see what we get out of it okay let's put the scope on the output here and okay so we're getting about uh 8.8 volts peak to peak and if you look at that waveform there look at the top of it it's not the prettiest right that's because this transformer here is probably saturating on the primary so we're getting that kind of a, a, a weird little like a, almost a hysteresis on the top of the, the waveform and there at the bottom of the waveform we can see it's not exactly um, a sharp rise again we got about a half amp going through there right now now let's have a look and see what happens when we put a capacitor on this very same circuit. Okay, so here we have it hooked up. We've got some capacitors on here. I put a 1000 UF capacitor here, and I put a 1 UF capacitor here as well, just because I have to have it on the bench, doesn't hurt. 
we got going through the ammeter here we got about 150 milliamps draw on it and it looks like we're getting about uh, at a 1.13 volts peak to peak ripple, which is about 0.15 or 0.16 RMS. And uh, let's let's increase the load here. It looks about 7.75 volts. So we want to see when this starts to come down. We get too much ripple here. So we're up around about 200 milliamps. So at this point. We would get, uh, I, I think we would get, on, if, with a regulator on there, I think we would be starting to get to see some ripple. So we're up around about 300 milliamps. That's what we got here. That's what it looks like. That's what a filter DC supply looks like under load. And of course, if we take the load off it, you just get straight DC. And we're getting what there, about nine and a half volts. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hook up this little one here. We'll try and get about a uh, hundred milliamps of load on it and see wh how it does. Okay, here we have the little one here, the low current regulated supply here. We got 96 milliamps, 99.9, so hundred milliamps coming through. And you can see on the scope, a real nice, flat, beautiful waveform there. Let's see if there's any ripple at all on it. Let's uh, put it on AC coupling here. And let's crank up the sensitivity. So yeah, it looks like we got about uh, 12 millivolts peak to peak ripple on there. That's pretty clean. That's much nicer than you'd see with any switch mode power supply. All right, so that one's a winner. Now let's go on to the bigger one. Okay, so here we've got the bigger one hooked up here. And we've still got only about 100 milliamps running through it. So I don't expect to see any ripple, but we saw from this one here that this 1000 UF capacitor, I've got the same one in here, is really probably only good up to about 300 milliamps. So anyway, let's, uh, let's bring up that uh, load here and see where we start to see some significant ripple on this. 150 milliamps. There we go. There we go. So we're just beginning to see a little bit of ripple there, about 150 millivolts of ripple at 300 milliamps, which is what we expected when we saw the unregulated supply. So let's put this back to AC here. We'll crank up the sensitivity here. So actually it's not quite too bad. So we've got about uh, 18 millivolts of ripple at 300 milliamps. So this is useful with this capacitor here up to about 300 milliamps. And uh, that's a decent amount of power for a small circuit. But like I say, you could easily get a bigger capacitor, put it in there and get more current. So it looks like we'd need about 3000 UF to get us up to a full amp on this. Now I can test that, but the capacitors I have at 3000 UF are pretty enormous. They're not gonna fit this pattern. They're not low voltage capacitors. So uh, let me pop one in there anyway, and we can have a quick look at that to see if I'm right or not. Okay, so I've got a, a huge big 50 volt capacitor in here, about 2200 microfarads, just about the, the only thing I could have that would you know, even fit in there like this. So I always expect, we should be able to get close to, close to half an amp before the ripple starts getting too bad. Beyond that, we're gonna to have to go up a little bit voltage in the transformer, because this is only a 6.3 volt transformer, maybe a seven and a half volt transformer, a 16 volt capacitor of a reasonable size, and that would get us up to being able to get a, an amp out of it. But I'm gonna see if we can get up to close to half an amp the way it is. We'll cut off the uh, ripple at 50 millivolts. Here we're starting to get some. So there are about 50 millivolts ripple. And we're, yeah, we're at half an amp. So yeah, we'd have to use maybe a, a seven and a half volt transformer and uh, a 16 volt capacitor of around about 3000 microfarads. So even with a half amp going through here, we're not, uh, we're not even getting warm on this. All right, so that's it. Uh, it looks like these boards are going to do fine as long as I can get the right components to put in them. They, they'll be handy to so be able to throw together little linear power supplies for my projects, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Anyway, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any comments, please make them. If you like this at all, give me a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. Thanks again to PCBWay for making this possible. We're going to be doing a far more involved project next, I think. Uh, so stick around for that. 
I hope you got something out of this, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.